Behind me in the Forum building here at Wageningen University, the preparations are going on for the first food camp. Here consumers and scientists get the chance to talk to one another about issues concerning food. We're going to find out if the coffee I'm drinking is actually from the country which is on the package and how a machine can help divide ripe and unripe apples. Let's go! So, sir, can I ask, how, how old do you feel right now? Like 100 years old. 100 years old. Yeah. Do you know how much kilos you have on your body right now? Not really. I think they say like 10, probably, I don't know. How many kilos I have? Nine and a half. Nine and a half, yeah. I've heard rumors about a vegetarian steak, and I believe it's right there. So it's beef, but not made from a cow. What is the scientific breakthrough about this product? Um, well, we developed a new technology in which we uh, can make structures in a very large scale. So this is just a small part of it. We can in total make 7 kg of uh, a plant-based uh, meat replacer. Yeah, you can try it if you want. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Let's have a piece. I like the texture. No, it's good. I'm standing right now in a in a virtual supermarket. I'm here together with Arthur Mol, rector of the Wageningen University. Today, the food camp was here at the Wageningen University. Why do you believe it is important to have this discussion with the consumer? Well, uh, we are doing a lot of research on food uh, and food issues, of course, in our uh, university and in the research institute. But most of the research is done directly in interaction with uh, businesses, with uh, policy makers. Uh, and we think it's also vital to uh, engage with the consumers and with citizens. What is the conclusion or the summary of today at the food camp? Well, I think the main conclusion is we want to have science with impact and we can only do that with the help of society. So we need impact of society on what we should research and how we should research that. 